That was it. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> ah, the mighty barbell. A long metal rod with weights on each end that makes you feel like a real beefcake at the gym. Please tell me you're not going to stroke your barbell the entire intro. Nah, I won't. I promise. But let's be real. The House of Iron isn't just for spandex and sweat. It's also where gym rats sometimes turn into gym bullies. I thought you said you were going to stop stroking that thing. Oh, yeah, I am. <laughs> See, your face. Your face did it again. I'm going to stop. <laughs> so if you were caught in the middle of a protein-fueled brawl, could you defend yourself with a barbell? And just how much damage could this thing cause to a person? I'm getting a lot of mixed signals with this intro. Mm -mm. It's only one signal I'm given. And that is? It's for me to know and for you to find out. Please don't make me find out. You're going to find out. Well, my friends, after a decade of training my body to be the ultimate human punching bag, let's find out if a barbell is truly a weapon of mass destruction or just a glorified paperweight. Well, at least you stopped stroking it. I stand corrected. <laughs> All right, before we hit me, we're gonna hit Barristan Jones here at the Ballistic Gel Bear. Why? Because if I'm being perfectly honest, this is the heaviest item I've ever been hit by. So I am very curious to see what it can do on Ballistic Gel before I get hit. Hopefully that'll help us gauge the power levels uh, so you know I don't break a femur. You think you'll ever get to the weight of a car hitting you? That'll be the- That's a pretty good idea. That's the top weight. What, why do we stop at a car though? Mantra truck. I'm gonna get hit by a monster truck? <laughs> You're just well, gonna get ran over. <laughs> no, I mean, maybe, maybe, who knows? Maybe it stops. My head stops a monster truck cold in its tracks. I thought you've learned your lesson with stopping vehicles with your body. It doesn't work. You know what, Jake, too soon, okay? <laughs> cool. It's been like a year. Yeah, and I'm still upset about it, okay? You look fine. Bigger and better than- But I how can I be an arm model with this? You know, they need arm models for morgues, probably. <laughs> I don't know why, but I feel like Mark can hit it hard enough for the bear to fly at me and I can catch it. Do you really trust Mark's strength? Yeah, he's a very strong, masculine man. Okay. Ready? <laughs> That's okay, he needs a retry. Uh, okay, I'm gonna give you one more try. I was about to do it myself. Let's <laughs> my back out. I know what he needs. Uh. Andy, belt up. Make sure you get a nice deep breath into your abdominal <laughs> muscles before you swing. No, don't, don't suck in. <sighs> then pinch it down. Big breath, then swing. <clears throat> you got this one, okay? You got it. I'll aim for, aim for you. Yep. Yeah, that's an ear lost, I think. Close. Kirsten Jones! <laughs> How did you knock his ear off? Movie magic. <laughs> I don't know, man. That was a clean well, slice. You know the rules. You get to keep it. What have you kept? My dignity. And our paychecks. So Mark, hit the ear off. My goal is to explode the bear completely. It went right to you! <laughs> Why did you jump away? It's just a bear. I could, you know, measure his power. I could have got decapitated by, by the bear. Pussy. Give me another try, coach. Oh, I want a shot. No, we're doing something different. Fine. What if there's a plate on the bar? What happens then? That seems like a more realistic scenario. I mean, who's just hitting with the bar itself? I mean, unless they're just like warming up, right? You know, this is warm up set with the 45 pound bar. That's that's like... you warm up with 45 pounds. Wow, I didn't realize you were so weak. How much There's you bench? How much you bench? More than the average citizen. Yeah, he's gonna say more than you, but he knew that was a lie. <laughs> Good girl, warm up. He's struggling. He's struggling. Oh, you brother 
I'll tell you what, if there wasn't some kind of... A single 45 is on the bar. I'm gonna do the good old sludge hammer technique and we'll see what happens to Barristan Jones there. Don't throw your shoulder out. I'm not saying that you would. I'm not saying you're not capable of doing such action. I just, you know, want you to be safe if you're delicate. I'm sorry, not delicate. You're delicate. <laughs> shoulder, but you're deltoids. How about you back away okay. before I sludge hammer you? Okay. <laughs> We should just destroy stuff on this channel. It's, you know, it's yeah, why a lot are we more breaking fun. you when we could just break everything else? Yeah, let's break everything around you. Not you. You're around me. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that was very effective, clearly. But Mark and most people are not strong enough to swing a barbell around with 45s on them. Let's be real. So before we even get to the this barbell specifically, I think we should test something lighter, something more functional. A nice easy bar. Ergonomic grips, okay. Impressive. That's right. I'll take this one to my left leg and I'll take the barbell with no weight loaded onto it to my right leg and then we can compare the difference. That's science. Let's get on it. Well, we should probably well, we should probably clean this up first. Oh, you're standing right here. No, 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 but listen. Actually, I forgot. I have to call my mom. I already talked to her. I did. <laughs> <laughs> first hit with the easy bar mark. I'm thinking 20% power. Easy 20. Easy 20. Oh, it's 25. Oh, because I could have sworn I said 20. I was so used to the 45 pound one. I had to adjust with that swing. Show sure, practice. He's right, you did give him like a- Why, why, okay, you know what? I don't like you two ganging up on me all the time. Well, that's what happens when you attack. What? Attack okay. who? Uh, I was hoping Jake would be with me since, you know, we're a team. No, right? now he's against you. You're yeah. stupid. Ow, oh, that is rude. <laughs> <laughs> the knurling part of that end of the bar got imprinted onto me. So that was about 25. I think we can Work her up to the 40%. Easy peasy. <laughs> I got two more. You got, you, got, you got two more of what? Easy jokes. Oh. <laughs> was that harder? No. That was like substantially <laughs> the same. If yeah, it felt very, very similar. I'm glad we're all checking each other mm -hmm. uh, for concurrent data. Uh, that was good work. Good work, Mark. Thank you. I'm not stupid anymore. Yeah. You didn't say that. Let's say it again. Ugh! Yep, that was harder. That was, ooh, yeah, okay, yeah, mm, ooh, yeah. That had that thud sound to it. Oh. A movable object hit it, a movable object. It's a very weird feeling when something makes contact with your femur. It's probably telling you, no. Yeah, it's don't like- Don't go further. <laughs> don't, don't do 50% power. You got it, boss. Let me, let me stand up first, actually. Uh, no, 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 no! Real quick, Mark, before you hit me with this last one on the easy bar, how does it feel? How, how does it feel swinging it? I like the grips. It mm -hmm. makes it a little bit easier. Get some more torque in there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You think this is a little bit more practical to use in the self-defense situation? Uh, I mean, maybe if it's like dark at night, you know, you don't know where to grab, that one would be easier. But other than that, it'd be great. So, bottom line, keep this in your trunk, but not when you're driving through the woods at night. Yes. That's what I got out of it. I want to see something cool. That could have hit me. It wasn't cool though. You Prevent know it. cameraman danger. Yeah, stop Asian hate. Wow. Well, okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Spot. It's all close, you know. I can't. I can't be that accurate. You win this round. My leg is trembling. Oh well, that's probably anabolic. You know, when you touch the iron, right? It builds you up, and this made really deep contact with me. So, this is what you're seeing right here. This whole tremble of my leg is my muscle 
growing. It's protein synthesis. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna see myself out. Yeah, you should see yourself out. Oh, I got you can see myself. See you later. <laughs> Idiot. Mark, I don't wanna be rude, but I saw you swinging the 45 pound barbell at the bear. I can tell you're a little feeble in some areas. Go on. I'm so I, I feel like for your safety, you should probably gear up a little bit. So I got some wrist wraps and a belt. I don't want you to like blow your back out and both your wrists. I appreciate you looking out for me. Strap mm -hmm. me up. You, you can strap yourself up with the belt. I'll, I'll guess I'll help you out with the wrist wraps since I suppose he's never used them. I like to live on the dangerous side. Yeah, he likes to live on the lifting lightweight side, so. I'm all about reps, not sets. Rapper, no, not that. Okay. This dude's never done wrist wraps before. Weren't you my trainer? Yeah, well, you never got to weight where you needed wrist wraps. <laughs> and that was the most honest thing I've ever said. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this seems like a really ill-advised idea. Who thought about this? I was surprised when you told me, I'm like, oh. You know who thought about it? Someone in the comments, they, someone put it there and I was like, genius, writing that one down. You know, half the comments say ideas that bait almost kill you, that could kill you. Yeah, and I always think, maybe I can make that work. <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised we haven't done this sooner. Yeah, really, truly, yeah, that's it. Bodybuilder versus. Bodybuilder versus Houston Jones, Never barbell. Anything barbell pain related. I mean, we've done like lifting ones at least, like barbed wire, bench press, waterboard. Right, but you're a bodybuilder and you never- Been hit with a barbell, yeah. You know what, 25,000 likes on this video, we throw plates at me. Oh my God. <laughs> and I said it. <laughs> you gotta really up your like goals. 30,000. Oh, you already said 25. <laughs> Can't go back, no take backs. Well, a deal's a deal. Ring around. <laughs> I don't know how long the experiment on the 45 pound barbell is gonna last, but we're gonna start with a 15% power hit and see what happens. Mark, what if that just dropped on my head? You can trust my fingers. He does have magic fingers. I feel like that's something he, Mark says on a first date. I am, uh, I do work with my fingers all day. <laughs> Oh my God, so much weight transfer. I didn't know how to handle, you know, what that actually was. How'd it feel? It honestly, pain wise, not too bad, but I could feel like that was another one of the ones I could feel it in like in my femur, my bone, uh -huh. made contact all the way through. It was just swinging so slow that it wasn't super painful. We gotta be very careful with this one. <laughs> We're gonna have to go this up. We're gonna increment this one up till where it's unbearable which I don't think is gonna take much. 25, whatever that ends up. My hands are going numb. <laughs> but don't you feel safe? <laughs> Man, I was losing feeling in my pinky. I'm like, what is going on? But your wrists are safe. <sighs> At what cost? <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, yeah, that, that, that was worse. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm just> <laughs> <living> <laughs> Damn, imagine. Just imagine a full power swing. Mark standing there and me. Javelin. <laughs> One hit, that's all it would take for me. Yeah. 35. Let's do 35. Oh. I no, I cheated that one. I'll, I'll, I'll wait for the slow mo to save and then I'll go again. I I I flinched. <laughs> I flinched. In all my years, not many years, but in all my time. <laughs> Nursing your flinch. That was a big flinch. I uh, the swing was coming in and I I caved my my hip in. This one's scary. It's almost like you should never use this as a weapon. That you probably kill someone, right? Maybe you don't think about barbell coming in at you. Think of like a soft, fluffy teddy bear. Ah, you're right. You know what? This is a marshmallow, <laughs> a marshmallow stick coming into my body so my body can absorb it as carbs, which will further help me gain muscle. You don't need any more. You're perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, oh, that was 
I was like 40s. <laughs> yeah. I was in the 40s. Uh. <laughs> Man, I can't wait until our grandkids watch this. Well, you're right. So if I stop at 40, they're gonna be embarrassed about me. Let's do a 50. Fire! <laughs> Oh. oh, how did you feel about that swing though, Mark? I felt pretty similar to the last one. Yeah, you know, you're probably right. I need one more. That was it. Oh. <clears throat> mm. Man down. I already helped him. Uh. Do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going forward. <laughs> now I went back. Are you glad that's over? <sighs> both my femurs ache. You ever had both your femurs ache? Uh, after leg day. No, that's your muscles. Idiot. Which are connected to your femur. There's one th last thing I want to try. <sighs> you see the knurling on this? Mm -hmm. What if that was raked down your shin? Aren't your shins still recovering from the horseshoes? No, they're fine now. Okay, that was like... Two and a half weeks ago. Look how good those shins are. Except maybe a little bit, little oh, bit bruised no. still, but we're not, we're not shin raking the back. We're doing the fronts. That's one that I'm curious. Like, was that like sandpaper or shin rake? I don't know. Do you know? Never done it. No. Exactly. That's why we're trying it. Both of us. <laughs> no, what? No, no. Yeah, we'll both hold one end of the bar. Let me get the box. <laughs> Last test, the barbell shin rake. My shins have been recently seasoned by horseshoes, so it should be a crunchy experience. All right, boys, give me a, a lighter one to ease me in. Mm, oh, I'm so so sweaty, it's just smooth. <laughs> smooth. <laughs> ah! Ah! Harder. Harder? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Got some skin going away. We got a peel. We got a peel. Beautiful. Glorious. You could say that's appealing. I, uh, I, I literally just said. No, not like that. You said appealing. Get it? <laughs> you need to I didn't know you were. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, boys? We all had a strenuous day. There's only one way to finish this. You're supposed to ask, so okay, I mean, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> How do we finish this, Houston? Thank you for asking. Are they already grilled? Oh, that is how they got seasoned. It's a weird seasoning. <laughs> Oh yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, anyways, we're gonna check back in a couple days, to see how the barbell injuries look. In the meantime, me and the boys are gonna eat this raw chicken and steak. That looks wrong. Yeah, that's, that's raw. You ever grilled before? <laughs> that's pretty rude. Okay, I'm offering you guys this free meal and you guys are making fun of me. You're trying to poison us. I don't think that's you enough for all three of us. Screw you guys. <laughs> you get nothing. I'll check back in a couple days. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a few days, so it's time for the barbell data review. Three days after the experiment, there was little to no bruising on either of my legs from the easy bar or barbell hit. However, the shin rake from the barbell did result in some nice scabbing on my right shin. Now, it's a pretty well-known fact on the channel at this point that heavier items generally result in less bruising due to the force transfer being so extreme. However, a lack of visible bruising doesn't mean a lack of damage as both my left and right femur are still in significant pain five days later, which leads me to believe that I might have some bone bruising. But to answer the question of, is a barbell a good self-defense tool? And simply put, no, I uh, think it's terrible. Obviously a full power swing with this bad boy would destroy anyone hit by it. But the problem is that would be extremely difficult to pull off in a real self-defense scenario. A 45 pound barbell is simply too heavy and unwieldy 
for most people to use effectively. Your best bet would be to use a much lighter bar, such as an easy bar, which can still do a lot of damage, but is also much easier to swing and handle. But before you go swinging a bar at anyone in a protein-fueled gym brawl, just remember the gym is a place where we build ourselves up, not break each other down. Violence is nothing more than a waste of precious calories that could be used to build even more muscle. Stay strong, my friends, and I'll see you all in the next video.